everybody, welcome to the Graveyard Travel. I'm Troy and I'm your host. Today, we're in Rising Sun, Indiana. Now, I drove around, there's two different cemeteries. There's one called the Union Cemetery, right there. And this one's called the Clear Cedar Hill, Cedar Hedge Cemetery. So we're gonna explore both of them and uh, show some unique tunes on some historical monuments. So we can find, let's get the tour started. So I'm gonna walk up this hill. Step in the mud. And this one's the Union Cemetery. That's what they call it there. So I'm gonna start up here and walk around. I'm gonna start off here with it's like Captain Hugh Jamison, April 16th, 1861. Interred the Union Army. August 31st, 19, 1861, there's some other people here. Can't hot read it. Yeah, that's, I like the way that tombstone is. As you know, it's right next to a high school. The rising sun. There's the size of this monument. It says Ethan Allen Brown, a man distinguished during a long life by devotion in the service of this country in the offices of judge of the Supreme Court, governor of the state of Ohio, senator of the United States, commissioner of the U.S. land office, envoy to Brazil, and, and, and more highly distinguished as one whose unblemished character, whose truthlessness and purity of heart and life reflected honor on offices which are supposed to confer honor on their incumbent was born in Connecticut in the year 1776. Died at Indianapolis, February 24th, 1852. That's a big monument. A lot, a lot of old tombstones and headstones here. There's one here. Martha J., wife of John B. Kraft, died October 12th, 1874. Aged 42 years, 7 months, and 26 days. See a lot of those. There's a lot of them around. In this part of the cemetery. Oh, look at this one. Memory of Eleanor, consort of James Morrison, who died in Rising Sun, July 29, 1839, aged 58 years, 6 months, and 11 days. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, ye with the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their worries do follow them. Okay. I like the design of it. Well, this one caught my eye when I drove in. That's probably where the cemetery is named after. And the rocks up here. Union Cemetery established in 1814 by John James as a town cemetery. So I think this used to be Union, Indiana one time. Well, maybe it's just the name they named it to the Union. And yes, a Union soldier standing over with the cemetery. That's what drew me to this place when I first drove by. That's interesting. interesting. A lot of uh, Civil War vets buried here. And they, not all of them are vets, though, from the Civil War. John W. Jones, Indiana, Sergeant 3rd U.S. Cavalry. December 14th, 1935. Kind of curious about this. Slap. Looks like one of those gravestones that go over the grave, but I guess they lift it up. I guess grounds. I don't know what's going on. But. Something about age to the memory or dedicated to the memory of Noah Miller, revolutionary soldier who departed his life September 12th, 1838. He was 83 years old. That's pretty old for that time. Sarah, his wife of Jonah Miller, died like May 16th, 1838. 
age 78. I'm back in this one. Oh, this one. Uh, so these uh, gravestones are so old, they fall over over time. So I put a steel rebar behind it. Keep it right and put a rope around it to keep it from falling again. Oh, uh, this gray plot. You can tell because there's concrete walls on both sides. And I'm gonna walk down. Oh, we get Nora and Royal W. She was born in 1855, passed away in 1887. He was born in 1845, passed away in 1921. So yeah, we're told. And here's some older headstones. This is the corner of the cemetery. Something 28, 1880 dies, May 26, 1908. Born. September, it was like September. Another one. Yeah, these are old ones. You can hardly read them. I brought my light of flashlight with me and things like that. Uh, Crochet's headstone sitting over here by the tree line. I haven't turned. You know, was it supposed to be like that? Or this might turn it. Well, this one you can read The Grave of Angeline. Daughter of Stephen and Elizabeth Stewart, who died January like third, eighteen forty-six, age twenty-one years, six months, and I can't read the rest. Mary Pepper, wife of David S. Walker, born November second, eighteen thirty-seven, died May eighteenth, eighteen ninety. Oh, look at that! That's beautiful the angel. A. Bill C. Pepper, who was born in Virginia, A.D. 1793, sorry, died at Rising Sun, Indiana War, March 20th, 1860, in the garret of his age. 67 years of his age. And he's pretty old. Look pretty, look to be 67. Oh, look at this headstone. The great with George. Rab, who depart this life September 27th, 1838, in the 44th year of his age. He was 44. He did as he lived. Something in the distance. Oh, I can't read the rest of it. And this is his wife, grave of Elizabeth Rab, consort of George. We departed in this life December 31st, 1839, in the 59th year of her age. I don't know if this has anything to do with that. So, Paul Lobbing Hutchinson, born August 2nd, 1872, he passed away on 25th, 1872, so he was the infant. And Charles Ernest Hutchinson, born November 1st, 1874. Died December 4th, 1870. Another infant. Julie Emma Hutchinson, born October 4th, 1877. Died August 11th, 1878. She lived about a year. Almost a year. And this is a big crypt. Don't know if it's a crypt or just something above the ground. It's a sacred, it's all I can see. It, Ezekiel Loring and Lydia Loring. That's all I can really make out. Looks like it's try to I don't know if they try to break in or it busted open. But it looks like some happened today. This is this is new. Not like the other side. That's concrete. Both sides is a concrete slab. All right, oh, look at this one. I described somebody describing something. It's a Spencer monument. So Eliza M. Spencer, wife of John H. Spencer, born October first, eighteen twenty-two, died December twenty-fifth, eighteen ninety-three. 
That's on your side. Oh, Joshua M. Spencer, born July 2nd, 1847, died November 26, 1908. And over here, John W.'s son of John W. and Elizabeth Spencer, died September 5th, 1858, aged eight months and four years. He was very old, young Todd, young kid, baby. J. Dahl, September 20th, 1826 to September 29th, 1914. And Jerusha, A. Dahl, August 31st, 1834 to February 29th, 1916. Annie Dolph, January 5th, 1868 to October 11th, 1913. Not really the younger one, but compared to the rest of them, it was younger. Now, there's some French. Lieutenant Hayden T. French, U.S. Navy, born September 19th, 1840, died March 1st, 1865. Wow, that is um, almost the end of the war. It says William H. French, past Grand Representative, Metropolitan in Camden, no, number five, born July 4th, 1816, died April 8th, 1886. E. Caroline, wife of W.M. French, born August 30th, 1818, died September 23rd, 1887. On this side. Kraft French, born March 13th, 1847, died July 8th, or July 4th, 1847. J. Albert French, born December 31st, 1850, passed away same day, December 31st, 1852. Now, that's a big monument. I think it's a family monument to the Seward. Seward Monument here. Uh, Susanna, looks like Samuel, uh, some JJ, Elizabeth, and, uh, well, Susanna, born 1825, passed away in 1906, uh, Samuel, looks like he was born in 1811, passed away 1893, uh, J.J. Stewart, 1856 to 1899, Elizabeth, 1851 to 1932, she's part of the recent burial, oh, what was this one up here, oh, there's another one, this one's James, born 1845, passed away in 1907, all right, we are heading into Cedar Hedge Cemetery, this was established in 1863, during the height of the Civil War down south. We're gonna start over here in this older corner. Uh, I, this is an old one because I'm guessing that's a headstone that fell off and they just stuck it back on top. I think, I don't know what those are. Are those uh, monuments too? Oh, I can't read it. It's an unknown one. But whoever it was, I mean, looks like it's off the center a little bit. Yeah, it is. I don't know if some people try to push it over or it got hit by a mower. Uh, it's a small plot. But you can't read the names. Well, at least on this side. That one's broken in. I'm guessing that's to go over the grave keep I guess from grave robbers I guess back in the early to mid 1800s you know a lot of grave robbers they would grab bodies and sell them to universities for cadavers fresh bodies actually that one's the same way it's got a hole in it somebody try to break in or something Mind it. it's the key for John Wesley Kiefer, June 27th 1833 passed away February 10th 1917 Isabella's wife June 14th, 1833, she passed away April 18th, 1925. And uh, there's William and Jane, that must be their children. 1864 to 1869, 1866 to 1869. Very old Looking at a grave of Darlene Dottie Gregory, 1935 and 2020. Thing is, she doesn't have a headstone. Here it is, going. it's 2023 now. So, I don't know if they are have older one and it takes a while to make it. She's the most recent in this part of the cemetery. 2020. 
Most of them are from the early 1900s to later or earlier than that. Oh, look at this, Harris. Look at the lady of the cemetery. Uh, Harris, I guess that's. Uh, yeah, hard to read it. Something the wife of Jacob Harris. I'm guessing Susanna, I'm gonna guess. 1809, passed away 1894. Age 84 years, 10 months. Jacob, a native of Delaware, Company, New York, born May 20th, 1802, passed away June 2nd, 1885, aged 83 years and 13 days. Yeah, that's a custom back in the day to uh, an early part of the century to put your whole time of your life from the, your age, months, and days. So this has done the shape of a wood block George W. French 1828-1904 our real man first lieutenant 4th Indiana Cavalry I'm thinking he was in the Civil War and part of the war, uh, Spanish American War more likely uh, Barbara M uh, I guess her name many of Jackson born January 3rd, 1967, passed away January 10th, 2019. When I close my eyes, I see you. When I open my eyes, I miss you. Uh, well, I thought Dottie was the one 2020, but she, I think she's been here a little bit longer. I guess Danny, her name is Butch, still here, I guess. Harry Tucky Richards, we will cherish the time you were with us forever. See you in heaven, Dad. Here's uh, Barbara Richards. Yes, this might be his wife. January 2nd, 1953. Passed away October 29th, 2015. Our beloved mother. He might be his wife. I don't know. But they're very awful far away from each other. Robert Bobby Richards. March 3rd, 1947. May 12th, 2011. Dad and Grandpa. I like the way they decorate that. Little planter in the back behind his head, so it looks like a block of wood. Ah, Smith, Jason Bryant, love husband, father, son, and brother, November 6, 1983 to August 9, 2004. I guess he liked to uh, ride his ATV, and he's a sportsman. And there's a lighter right there on his grave. And over here, uh, it's like Smith, Annie Marie. Pimples. January 13th, 1984, April 20th, 2004. Picture of her. Picture him. I don't know, are they together? I guess they're, they're married. Uh, he passed away August 9th, and she passed away April 20th, so she passed away before he did. I don't know. In, in love and memory of my dad, Ricky Dale Elza. May 28th, 1961 to March 1st, 2009. That's a nice little headstone. Stars, I'm hanging the moon with stars on it. Uh, it belongs to Jeremy L. Walcott. March 6th, 1978 to May 13th, 2013. Well, I really got this one decorated. All the way down, I got the whole thing decorated. Leonard Wilcox, that's his dad. May 26, 1935 to October 19, 2021. Could be his grandfather, maybe. Boy, well, really decorated. Quarter. Uh, Matilda and George. Granny, Susie B. Graff, and George Graff. Uh, born, he, George was born in 1886, passed away in 1971. Uh, Susie, I'm guessing this is his wife. She's born in 1902, passed away in 1999. And over here, Quarter. Matilda A, 1908 to 1991, and George W, 1898 to 1980. They might be related. Maybe cousins. And just next door, look at this headstone. It's a big slab of rock. Uh, nice butterflies. It says Jody McLaren Wollenkamp. 
May 18th, 1982, to pass away October, August 13th, 2012. Loving mother of Catherine Bryce and Mason. I can't hardly read that. I'm going to see if I go on your side and read it. Sorry. The flower blooms in heaven, ever mom, that we miss. Though you're not, though, though you're not forgotten, we will always miss. Listen. Wow. Now that's a hit. Well, let's pick this up. Oh, United States Marine. Well, let's put that back, shall we? Gotta put that back. Oh, there it stays. Wow. Father Victor E., February 4th. 1922, April 12th, 1970. Mother June A., June 14th, 1924 to January 13th, 2014. Son Richard A., June 11th, 1958 to June 12th, 2012. Uh, must be him. Holly Davidson, tattoo on his arm. So who was the Marine? Was it him or his father? Well, I think that fell off because I think he used to sit right there. And it's there sitting right there anyway, it'll fall again. Oh, John Alden Ballard, May 31st, 1970, November 5th, 1998, the sun. I like how they got that. I got a flower pot at the end, There's a slab of concrete over his grave. And then back. There we go. Sabo. You love the outdoors, you loved your dog and the flowers. You were always there when someone needed a helping hand. Now you are in heaven for a rest. That's well deserved. You were taken from us way too soon, but I guess God had other plans for you. Your baby, your baby blues will shine no more here on earth, but will shine in heaven. We love you and we'll miss you, but you will never be forgotten. Tensely, I saw the light, father and son. Is that Dolly Parton? It's a Dolly Parton and John Wayne. Father Walter Charlie, June 16, 1940 to August 22, 2021. And son Jeffrey James, May 8, 1960 to January, January 9, 2019. I saw the light. Uh, Dolly Parton and John Wayne etched on their tombstone. Yeah, Tinsley family. I'll do this one. And it's got lights with it and it lights up the headstone. It said Christopher L. Colon, they call him Sam, August 3rd, 1967, passed away April 24th, 2014. Love me, son, brother, father, and grandfather. A husband of Amanda Eckerson. Douglas L. Ballard, January 3rd, 1967, July 30th, 2021. That's nice. The deer and the field trees. The ruins of Christmas. Oh. Jeffrey Todd Smith, December 16th, 1964. September 27, 2020. Look at that helicopter. That's him right there. American flag. There's a hat. USA. US Air Force. It says, Dad, deep in our hearts, you always stay loved and missed every day. An angel watching over this one. Oh, Lance, Lane, Michelle Renee, our precious Mickey Mouse. Born June 15, 1978. Passed away May 27, 2010. Loved daughter, sister, mother, and friend. And daughter of Susanna Ann, June 22, 1998. Mommy's a little angel. It's like mommy and daughter are laying here together. Yeah, no, explain. Thank you for joining me today here at both Union Cemetery and Cedar Hedge Cemetery. To everybody here in both these cemeteries, rest in peace. Thanks for watching. Thanks for those who subscribe. It helps this channel grow. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. And take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. For right now, I will say goodbye, and I'll see you on the next cemetery video. Bye.